with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. In the last episode of Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go, we saw this wonderful sight of Ryman 11's graffiti, where victory would be theirs. In this episode, with the goal of victory in mind, we're going to start training for the first match of the Saints Way Tournament, which will be against the opponents that were mentioned in the previous episode. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a bit of special training on this hidden uh, thing by just murdering the graffiti that we loved seeing so much. Just, yeah, you thought it was such a symbol of respect? Well, we're going to destroy it now. <laughs> But yeah, there's just one more go. It would be nice to get a whoops because I still haven't failed any of these training wheel sequences. But I don't want to run myself out of money like I did on the previous two occasions. So we're just going to leave and head for the pitch to start some training. Wah, Arion! It's like the balls glued to your foot. Your trebling training's really paying off, huh? How about the real challenge? See if you can get past me. All right. Whoa. Yeah, look, it's that special move again. Can I have it in my arsenal this time? I've mastered a special move. Easy Breezy, which is just a fantastic name, by the way. Magnifique! You were the one with the wind there. It just goes to show what you can do if you work hard enough. Impressive. Looks like you really helped your teammates grow as players, Ricardo. But then again, I'd expect nothing less from the virtuoso. At the time, I couldn't understand why I let Arion into my house. But I think I do now. I think, deep down, I just wanted to see that silly smile of his. And yes, we can actually use Easy Breezy as a dribbling move now, which is wonderful. It's not as strong as stuff like Dragster is. It's only 28 TP. But, you know, there we go. Everyone did some training and now we can set off for Saints Way itself. Okay, Arian, have you got everything you need? I'm sure you'll be brilliant. After all, you've been training so much. Just believe in yourself. Okay, Auntie Sylvia, I will. And Spotter, keep your paws crossed for me, will you? See you later. Now, stage four. We have no objective. <laughs> I had to read it just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, stage four. Everything you just did. But now, obviously, we're going to head to Ryman. And it's worth having a look at the iNatter because it's updated twice since the last time. And gosh, where are the newest? So I think the newest updates are actually at the top then. They're talking about toilet humor and bacon sardine. I cannot possibly imagine someone with a French accent saying bacon sardine. A bacon sardine! It's just not quite right. So clearly, yeah, I was meant to be reading the top of the iNatter and not the bottom. So there's actually so many messages that I haven't been reading this whole time. Ah, oh, nee way! I thought I just saw a ghost in the old club room. Proper spooky light! The more chances I get to talk <laughs> in our day's accent, the better. And they're just talking about buy one, get one free on sandwiches. Ugh, one Lee wants peanut butter and pickles. I mean, that's clearly an intentional joke. Something that's meant to sound bad. But good grief. I have had a peanut butter sandwich. Now you can see on the bottom screen... Yeah, I think it's finally time to make a bit of headway into the extra competition route. And we'll start off by 
taking on the Inazuma Kids FC. So I'm not going to show this in full, and there will be some more story progress at the, you know, further into this episode. But for now, I think it's important to explain the fundamentals of extra competition routes. And now that we do have Ricardo at our disposal, we cannot put Victor on the field, as we can see, but I'm happy enough with that formation. We'll just give it a go. So that means we've got two people with special moves. My goal here is to win this match 5-0. And the reason for that is that extra competition routes are designed to help you grind. And grinding in this game, it's not necessary, but it helps a lot more than it does in previous entries. Oh no, 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 come back. Okay, we're just gonna have to go for goal with Ari, and he doesn't have a special move. But you see, in the run-up to this Let's Play, about two years ago, I would say, I did a playthrough of Inazuma 11 Go Shadow. So this is my third playthrough of the game now. And I'm also on my second viewing of the anime, which I completed long ago. Yeah, Aaron couldn't score, but at least it got rid of a combusting catch. Beating Inazuma 11 Go Light for the first time while I was doing the extra competition routes, it's pretty easy. Doing it for the second time on Go Shadow, when I was not doing any of the extra competition routes, much, much tougher. I never actually lost a game, but I came so close to losing the final boss. And additionally, you saw in the Prodigy Grammar match, there were plenty of kind of mission objectives where we had to do a certain thing, just take a player to a certain area of the map. And that's just a lot more streamlined and easier to do. If I am higher level, there's higher chance of it failing, because if I do fail, it doesn't run down the timer, it doesn't advance the story, all it does is waste your time and my time. So I want those to be as easy as possible, and to do that, it helps a lot to level up a little bit. And the extra competition route is the best way to do that. There are rewards for it. This particular route that I'm on right now only has three matches, with the first one being the Inazuma Kids FC and the second being Prodigy Grammar. We've just about got enough for a second Easy Breezy in the tank. And so the rewards themselves are actually terrible, but I still want to show them off in the Let's Play for completion's sake. At least for this extra competition route, I'm not going to do them all because there are tons in this game. But finally, of our own accord, we can use Fortissimo Foot again. Fantastic. And yeah, so S ranking a match requires you to win by a 5 0 margin. And that gives you not only double the experience points for winning a match, but also it means you get an extra reward when you complete the route if you S ranked every single match. And so I want to S rank these three matches. And now that we've got Ricardo back, not too difficult even at this early stage of the game. All the while getting important experience to hopefully make the next match a little bit easier. So. I think I will just run to the end of the first half for Inazuma Kids FC. You have seen this team before, after all. But I'll probably show a bit of the Prodigy Grammar match as well, just because, you know, we lost to them in the story. This is the only opportunity to actually beat them in the extra competition route. So I'm certainly going to be beating Mr. Veteran's competition route off screen, but for the most part, you won't be seeing it because it's not that interesting. <laughs> but hey, it's a, it's, it's a thing to do on the side. So yeah, that will do. I will see you at the end of this match. Yeah, not too tricky. 1-7-0, so that's comfortably an S-rank. To give me double experience and that S-rank is recorded on the extra composition route menu. We also unlocked the Inazuma Kids ticket just as a random drop, and Wan Lee has finally got Great Wall, as well as some other moves on our random recruits. So, first of all, I'll make sure I'm fully healed. Yes, I am. We got the item as a random drop, so let's just use that. It's found here in the key items, and that unlocks the Super Kids a more leveled up version of the same team on another competition route which we don't currently have access to. I also noticed a training spot 
which we haven't used yet just down by the river. So I will want to have a look at that before we get back on the story as well. But Prodigy Grammar, to have a look, their goalkeeper is level 8. Their highest level player is level 13. So should still be fairly doable. I think they over level us a bit, but all of their special moves are terrible. Whereas we've finally got some good ones now. So again, don't want to show it in great detail, but it's... Oh dear, that's dodgy pass work from Tail of the Toaster there. We're going to try and get a goal straight away with dodge. Ah, no, that's a pity. I think he should be able to take it with, from us with Thief's Eye. Yeah, well, never mind. We'll carry it on a bit longer. So, I've already explained the conditions for getting an S rank in this game, but I didn't mention before that to get an A rank, you win the match either 3-0 or 4-0, and... But there's no extra benefits for doing so. And then anything below that is a B rank. So either a 1-0 victory, a 2-0 victory, or any match where the opponent scores against you. Those will all be a B rank. Again, no extra benefit. It's not possible to get a C rank. That would just be a loss, which isn't recorded. So, yep, we clearly demonstrated the ability to beat Prodigy Grammar. We're winning 1-0. So I'll just take care of the rest myself and hopefully go for a 5-0 victory. If not, probably have to come back to it later. I don't imagine the third team in this extra competition route is actually available yet. Uh, while, we're, while we're seeing it, this move, Thief's Eye, really annoys me actually because I don't know if you've noticed at this stage, but the majority of the special moves that were in the previous three games, because this was the first game designed for 3DS, unlike uh, Team Ogre Attacks, which was simply ported to it, they had to remake any move that they wanted to put back in the game from scratch. And so, as a result, the vast majority of them are missing. And then we've got moves like Thief's Eye, which just blatantly remake moves that already existed. In this case, it's, you know, all the moves that we saw from Brainwashing. Future Eye as well, that's similar stuff. Future Eye is the dribbling one, and Thief's Eye is the, the stealing one. But it's just blatantly a renamed version of moves that Brainwashing used to use in the first game. And, yeah, so many moves that we'd fallen in love with are all gone, and that's another negative about this game. Sorry to mention so much in such a short space of time, but it would especially be a big negative if I were to fail to S-rank this match after I've come so far. Archimedes just keeps beating me. Most of the players on this team are awful, but Archimedes is the one where I just can't deal with him. Um, is that Eugene or is it Arian? It is Eugene. He does have a special move with him. Who can I pass to that had... Yeah, Ricardo's out of TP and Dodge is out of TP. I've just got to go for a shot with Arian. And last time I tried that, the goalkeeper saved it. But that's all I can do. Yes! Phew! That was a much harder match to S-rank, but I did manage to pull it off in the end. So I guess we'll carry on from here, yeah, because... I don't think the third match in the extra competition route is available right now, but that's good because it's leveled up my players, allowed me to re-familiarize myself with the gameplay of this particular game. I finally got to rant about Thief's Eye, which just uh, just frustrates me. And we're even going to get another attempt for a sixth goal, but Arian is out of stamina, so I would be surprised if this goes in. Yeah, exactly. Goalkeepers are much harder to stop in this game, and there is a reason for that, but we can't go into that just yet, unfortunately. So now we've leveled the scores with Prodigy Grammar. We beat them in the rematch, and now they will never beat Ryman ever again after losing 5-0 in a fair match. Now look at this as an item drop. Oh my god, you got Future Eye just after I ranted about it. We can actually set Prodigy Grammar's coach, Jefferson, as our coach now. 
which is weird. I think maybe for story, but yeah, we're not allowed to change it off Evans right now. But we collected Jefferson as a coach who we would be able to use in the future. Why you would ever use someone like that is beyond me. But yeah, so that's a little spoiler as to who the next team is going to be. We can't play them yet. Instead, we're going to get back on with the... No, we're not going to just yet because we haven't actually had a look at this dribbling... Oh, have we? Yeah, we did actually. So, uh, uh, whoops. <laughs> a whoops would be great. We just, we just got a good... Okay, so skip travel is actually going to work properly this time. And we'll still got to walk onto the pitch like, oh, photo opportunity. Let me take a selfie. Stone Monument is in our our camera log. There's a hundred different photos, remember? So I'll always be on the lookout. Okay, I think that's everyone. Remember, we're up against Milky Way Charter School in the first round of Saints Way. Uh, Milky Way played rough on a good day. They're going to go absolutely bonkers on us in an absolute tournament. Mm -hmm. The central defence is solid, but I think we can still slip through it. The tactical judgement on the pitch will be key, Ricardo. Yes, coach. <laughs> so even the captain's out to oppose Fifth Sector's decree. Frankly, this is madness. I don't even know why I'm going along with this. There's going to be an opening ceremony before the tournament starts, so we'll take the bus to Saints Way Stadium first. After that, we'll head over to Milky Way Charter School for our match. Right, team, to the bus. Forza! Good! So that's going to be the conclusion to this episode. We're going to go and watch the ceremony. We'll check the INATA later, but the actual match with Saints Way itself is definitely going to be... Saints Way, that's the name of the tournament. It's called Holy Road in the Japanese version, and therefore it's also called Holy Road in the... Um, the dubbed version of the anime, which tends to borrow more from the English version. Now, this is already lo looking to be quite a long episode, so I'm not going to be doing any of these random encounters. We're simply going to make it to the stadium, which is right here. Wow, it's enormous! It was called something different when I was your age, the Football Frontier Stadium. Sensational! But so many people have come to watch. I'm a little bit terrified. I wonder if he'll be watching. The guy who saved my life. And in we pop to the Saints Way Stadium. We can take a photo of the receptionists. Yeah, it's actually meant to be of the monument. There's always a bit of a running trend in Inazuma of bad dads trying to take their lads to the stadium and do forgetting the ticket or falling asleep. The Saints Way tournament is about to begin. Soon the nation's top middle school football teams will face off against each other in a battle for supremacy. Eastern regionals will be played out as a tournament, with the winner getting the chance to compete for the national title. Football legends Ryman Junior High will be joined by other terrific teams, such as Almighty Faith, Milky Way Charter, Ivy Selective, and Pirates Cove Merchant Marine Academy. Any one of those teams could be a hot contender for the top spot, so make sure you don't miss a thing during this thrilling tournament. by all those who take part, working together in perfect harmony. Hmm. Of course, my lord. It truly is. No one can be allowed to disturb this harmony. No one. Winter Sea, this had better not be a repeat of what happened at Prodigy Grammar. Absolutely not, sir. 
I've made things crystal clear to Coach Evans. I can't imagine that he'll want to suffer the same fate as Travis. That's a lot to stake here. It's not just a national tournament. It's an election to choose who will be the next leader of youth football. It is our duty to continue to support the current Holy Emperor, Alex Zabel. His Highness must remain on the throne. That is why the game must unfold exactly as Fifth Sector have decreed. Yes, sir, of course. Although, permit my saying, but if we go out in the first round, won't it damage the school's reputation somewhat? We have no choice but to do as His Highness says. We were last year's runners-up. Perhaps we've simply performed too well. Yes, perhaps. But you must admit that His Highness's decisions have been rather unusual lately. For example, why make Evans coach? Okay, you lot, it's time for the first round. Let's head over to Milky Way Charter. Bam! I like that screen. But yes, that's going to be what we take on in the next episode. Listen to the roar of the crowd. So this is Saint's Way. 